are sometimes eh, I am very surprised about Ghanaians how hypocrites we are. We don't respect our own and we don't honor our own and we don't love our own. We celebrate foreigners than our own. But there is no foreigner that will celebrate Ghanaian. Look at how Ghanaian members and Ghanaian Christians follow Nigerian pastors and respect Nigerian men of God and even Ghanaian pastors. That's why we kill all our prophets. That's why we kill all our men of God. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. I'm telling every prophet in Ghana is considered a fake. Every anointed man of God. A few days after a popular Nigerian pastor known as Jerry held a crusade in Ghana, another pastor who is a Ghanaian by name Bishop Sam Owusu came out to criticize Ghanaians for not honoring their own prophets and always speaking against their men of God. He also spoke against Nigerians, but few days after criticizing both Nigerians and Ghanaians he finally came out to apologize because of how Nigerians reacted massively against what he said. If you are new to Holy Ghost Frequency you might want to consider following us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon to get more fascinating chapters like this each time we post new videos. The following clip is a video of Bishop Sam speaking against Ghanaians. Last week, one of the young men in Nigeria came to do prayer conference here. On over 50,000 people were there praying. Ghanaian, uh, Ghanaian too. But let me tell you, do you know, there is no Ghanaian pastor that will go to Nigeria to have that crowd not even 10 percent nigerians will never that's why there is no bigger ghanaian church in nigeria nigerians respect and love their own as i'm talking to you my brother just sent me this message that he landed that he landed in ghana he is also coming to do a crusade now and go and see thousands of people who are gathered there we have this anointing in this country there are men of god that the power that we carry the anointing that we carry in this country they will never respect us and there is no way other nation will respect what you have rejected the reason why ghana is not celebrate, celebrated in nigeria or south africa no ghanaian is making it there is because where you are coming from how has your people treated you how has your people accepted you and respected and honor your ministry that's why no ghanaian can break through in nigeria you can only go and preach in their church and leave if you start your church they will give you three months every nigerian will leave you every nigerian will leave you nigerians are very self-centered people very self-centered they like their people but not the Ghanaians. as if we don't have anointed men of god in this country as if we don't let let a after every prophet in ghana is considered as fake every prophet every anointed man of god the next video is a video of bishop sam apologizing to nigerians ghanaians and the body of christ at large he released this video just a few days after the first video of him went viral where he spoke against the ghanaians that attended pastor jerry's crusade in ghana hello i want to especially bring um, a word of apology to my fellow nigerians and my brothers and friends in nigeria men of god in nigeria who have or uh, felt offended through my message that was circulating around the world it wasn't my intention to create a tribalism and also create a division within the body of christ it came out of order and i want to apologize to all my friends and brothers around the world especially my brothers in nigeria i have been blessed by nigerian church many times and likewise myself i have also rendered a lot of opportunities and blessings to a lot of nigerians i have no intention i have no kind of uh, mentality to destroy the kind of render and services that i have received many years ago it came out of order and i condemn that kind of art we have received a lot of messages we have received videos we have received all kinds of comment uh, from around the world especially for my senior brothers that I have grew up with and they have been a blessing to me I have also been a blessing to many many Nigerians in this country in Ghana by the grace of God I have received a lot of Nigerians in my church here in Ghana and I've been a blessing to many many people I have friends all across the country Nigeria so there is no way I will 
destroy and also insult or render a certain kind of mercy to look down on my fellow Nigerians. It came out of order and I deeply say I'm sorry and I condemn that kind of act. I'm a man of peace and therefore I will not in any way say that it came out of order. I, no, that's not. And I have no malice. I have no hatred. I have no jealousy of anything. I am equally blessed by whatever any man of God have to be blessed by the grace of God. You all know it's not about the jealousy. It's not about hatred of the Nigerian church. It's not about hatred of a certain man of God. No. I was acknowledging the fact that Nigerians support their own. Nigerians are very, very supportive. They honor their men of God. They respect their men of God. And I love it in that way. And I wanted our people here in Ghana to emulate that. But in doing that, I think that my, my conversation went out of order. And I don't, you know, take it uh, as a light weight. I want to render an apology to all friends and brothers and all brothers in the kingdom who has been offended. By the grace of God, I have received a lot of men of God. Sometimes I have not even invited them in Ghana. Sometimes I will just be there and from the airport, I will be called that my brothers from Nigeria, maybe somebody have disappointed them or something of that sort. And I have to arrange to pick them up and to set them up to preach in this country. I have received numerous men of God in this country that are from Nigeria. And so they have also a lot of men of God has opened their doors for me. I lived in Nigeria for almost seven years. Kindly tell us your thoughts about this interesting clip in the comment section. And check out some of our fascinating episodes showing on your screen. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon to get new videos from this channel each time we post them.